so I've already done this eye and I've already done my eyebrows and um, and I prime my eyes so for an eyebrow routine um, I'll leave the link down below and now I'm gonna use the color in skim and then I'm gonna go back in with the color stark and my morphe M m433 brush and i'm just going to blend that color together and then i'm going in with the morphe e22 brush and the color anaheim so all i want to do is i want to put it in the crease and i want to diffuse it really good and blend it really well and then i'm going in with the color punk and the same Morphe E22 brush. So this one, I'm just placing it in the outer V. So now I'm just gonna be adding a little bit more of the punk color. And now with the Morphe E28 brush, I'm just gonna blend that color out. With the MAC 239 brush, I'm going in with the color Danger. I'm just gonna be packing this color on my lid. And we're gonna be losing a little bit of the blue eyeshadow but it's okay we can always go back and add a little bit more and now I'm gonna go back with the colors zone and I'm just gonna apply it as a transition color also and now with my MAC 239 brush, I'm going to go back in with the color Danger and I'm just going to pack a little bit more of that blue eyeshadow because we did lose a little bit with the blending. And now to clean it up, I'm just going to use one of my wipes. So I usually start from the outside, you'll see. And then I join it. And for my wing liner, I'm using a Sonia Kashuk brush in number 107 and Morphe gel liner in slate. And now I'm going to be using a Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer for my under eye. And this was a little bit more on the yellowy salmon color and it helps me conceal my dark panda eyes <laughs> and I'm just gonna be tapping it My hair looks horrible, sorry about that. And now for foundation, I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. And now I'm going to be using Maybelline's Master Conceal in Light Medium. And this one, I'm just using it as a highlight. And to set my under eye, I'm going to be using the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. And for my under eye, I'm going to be going in with the color Punk. 
And now to define it, I'm gonna go in with the same color, but I'm going to be using a G28 brush. And then with a Morphe M562 brush, and I'm gonna be using color Zone. And at this point, it looks like a hot mess. And now I'm just gonna blend my under eye. And for our waterline, I'm using LA Girl um, in Berry Black. And for eyelashes, I'm going in with the Roller Lash Mascara. And now we can take off our powder before we put our falsies. And for falsies, we're going in with Morphe 605 False Lashes. And I'm just applying mascara to my lower lashes. And now I decided I wanted to add a little pop of blue in the middle of my eye. And I'm just using a Morphe G28 brush. And now to highlight my inner corner, I'm gonna go in with the color Pop with a Morphe M562 brush. And now to bronze my face, I'm going to be using this new Naked Urban Decay Blush Palette in the color um, Native. And at this point, I feel like I need to add a little bit more bronzer and this one's a little bit more orangey tone, so I feel like I need to add something darker. So I decided I'm gonna go in with Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And now with a Morphe E30 brush. And to highlight my face, I'm going in with this Naked Blushed Highlighter and with the Morphe M510 brush. And I definitely feel that this one is a little more white than I wanted to be for my skin tone. And now for blush, I'm going in with this color. And I'm just barely going to tap it because it looks like it's really pigmented. And for lips, I'm feeling like doing something really dramatic with this look and I decided I want to do something red and I should do something neutral, but I'll see how it looks. And I'm using Laura Geller's Lip Liner in Ruby. I don't know what's wrong with this lip liner, but it's feeling kind of dry. This is the first time I'm using it. 